so this is a little update, I guess. I'm um, going to do it in two parts. First one's going to be update on Sully Court F shot, and the second is just going to be a little... Well, not little, it's probably going to be a bit of a longer video. But just like an update on myself and my health. Uh, CAH congenital adrenal hyperplasia wise. Um, next week I will go into my other various <laughs> health problems but that is going to be a long long video. So part one, Sully Court have shot. I didn't have my stress dose prednisone on me. That is one thing that should be in your emergency kit all the time and I didn't have it and I'm in the process of moving in with my step grandma and it was late at night so I couldn't go back to my house and get my stress dose so all I had was my Sully Cortef shot on me so I reached out to the online community and I asked them you know should I use the Sully Cortef shot and I had lots of positive responses and they said, you know, if you're really not feeling well, I feel it would be beneficial for you to use it. So I decided, you know, this is something I need to do. This is something that is going to help me feel better. So I just decided, you know what, fuck it, just gonna go for it. So I prepared it all. It was like, two, three, somewhere in that general time frame, AM. So I was quite tired, I was groggy, just wasn't feeling good. And as soon as I used the Sully Cortef shot, like within half an hour, I was feeling so much better. And I was so grateful that I had this available to me because it, honestly, it's a godsend. It's liquid gold. This is what people are calling it online, is liquid gold. And I totally get it now, because it makes you feel so much better within half an hour. It's almost like you're back to yourself again, but you're still kind of not feeling that great, but you're a hell of a lot better than you were before. So, back to the whole needle process thing. Um, I was really scared. It was the first time I've ever done anything... I didn't want to wake anybody else up in the house. Um, it was just my grandma, but I still, you know, just felt bad for, you know, if I had to wake her up. And so I just sucked it up and decided to do it myself. So I made, well, mixed the medications, got it all ready, and I froze up. I also have panic disorder as well, so that was starting to kick in. And... So that just wasn't making things any better. But as soon as I worked up the courage to just stab myself with it, like I said, just like a dart, just do it super quick. And it kind of got easier, but about halfway through, so about 0.5 milliliters in, I started getting kind of dizzy. And um, if you've ever passed out, you know that you get like this buzzing feeling in your ears when you're about to pass out and that was starting to happen. So then I started to panic even more and I probably gave it a little bit faster than I should have, but in the end I got it in and that's, that's all that matters. So I guess it was a positive experience for me for something I thought would be so negative. But overall, it was it was good, and I would say to anybody who has never done this before and who might be watching this and it's going to be their first time or may have to experience it soon or, you know, just in the future, it's okay, it's, it's scary as hell the first time. But as soon as you do it once, it gets so much easier after that. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to ask for help if you need help from somebody else. You don't have to do it yourself. You can ask, you know, a trusted adult or a friend or just really anybody. Or if you really can't do it yourself, then just go to the hospital. They'll do it for you. And it's totally okay. 
I felt well enough after I gave myself the shot that I felt I didn't need to go to the hospital. So this time I didn't go to the hospital. But overall, I guess I'd say it, it was it was all right. And don't panic. Don't be scared. It's okay. And there's always support somewhere. Whether it's from a friend or a family member or online. Like online support forums are they're a beautiful thing. And if you go on Facebook, um, you can request to join a CAH page and you can be either someone with CAH or you're looking for more information or have a family member with CAH and you just request to join and they will pretty well just let you join as long as you explain you know why you would like to because you know they just don't want everybody going on there but you know let's just you know summarize this it's okay it's, it gets easier as you do it more often but hopefully you don't have to do it more often but it gets easier and it's okay and just have faith in yourself and you will be okay and you'll feel better after and that's the most important part.